What are some of the most common reasons airmen get kicked out of the United States Air Force? Stick around and I'll let you know. What's up everybody? My name is Ashley Noel. Thank you for being here. On this channel, we talk about military lifestyles, tips for traveling and working abroad, and also leadership advice. So if any of those topics interest you, please make sure to hit that like button down below and also that subscribe button. As always, quick disclaimer, I do not speak for the Department of Defense, I do not speak for the Air Force, I only speak for myself, and nothing that I say here should be construed as legal advice. So if you're having legal troubles and you're in the military, then you should reach out to your installation's Area Defense Council for help. Nothing that I'm saying here is secret information. I did not pull any official stats. I've worked in four legal offices by now, so what I'm speaking on is based purely on my observations working in those legal offices, the top reasons that I've come across for why airmen get administratively discharged from the military. So I'm not gonna speak on anything dealing with court martials or why airmen might get kicked out of the military as part of a sentence for a court martial. I'm only dealing with the administrative discharge side of things here. So hopefully by me sharing this information, you will be able to learn from others' mistakes and not find yourself in similar situations. Like the most common basis for administrative discharges is for minor disciplinary infractions and essentially what this covers is those instances where airmen receive a lot of disciplinary paperwork for breaking the rules. This could be showing up late to work, failing to maintain standards, exhibiting unprofessional behavior, basically an accumulation of minor disciplinary infractions. When this sort of misconduct starts to become a pattern of behavior, that's when airmen become subject to administrative discharge. And this makes sense. As a military body, we have a lot of rules and processes for reasons. We have to be able to standardize a lot of moving pieces across a lot of different systems. And we have to be able to rely on those systems to work. So you can think of each individual as a cog in that system. If any individual cog malfunctions, it can affect the entire system. So if you have one cog that is constantly malfunctioning, not only does that impact the reliability of the entire system, but it also pulls the leader's attention away from focusing on the mission to now focusing on fixing this constantly malfunctioning cog. So if an airman exhibits a pattern of behavior where it doesn't appear that they can comply with military standards or customs, then this may not be the best employment option for them. Another major major reason why airmen get discharged from the military is for drug abuse. This one baffles me every time, so I'm just going to pull straight from the AFI here. Drug abuse is incompatible with military service, and airmen who abuse drugs one or more times are subject to discharge for misconduct. I won't say that 100% of the time airmen who abuse drugs get kicked out of the military, but only because every fact pattern is different and every case needs to be considered on its own merits, and commanders do actually consider every case on its own merits. But for those who are watching who are in the military, be it Air Force or any other branch, if you abuse drugs, be it weed, synthetics, or anything else, I just don't know how you think this is going to end for you. All I'm going to say on this one is that recognize that if you abuse drugs while you are in the military, you are making a life decision. Last up, another common basis for administrative discharge from the Air Force is for fitness test failure. Obviously, we've had a bit of a hiatus from fitness test requirements due to the pandemic. But as fitness testing starts to come back online, this tends to be one of the more common reasons why airmen end up getting kicked out via administrative discharge. So this one's pretty straightforward. Essentially, if an airman fails a fitness test four times within a 24 month period and a military medical provider rules out there being any possibility that the airman had some sort of underlying medical condition that would have prevented them from obtaining a passing score, then that airman is going to be subject to administrative discharge. Charge. Again, this goes back to maintaining standards and ensuring that every cog in the system, you could say, is able to function and support the overall objective of the whole. If you're interested in getting more information about any of these bases of discharge, please feel free to check out AFI 363208 if you're enlisted or AFI 363206 if you're an officer. Also, if you are in the military and you're having legal difficulties with the situation, then please feel free to reach out to your installation's area of defense. 
Guidance Council. If you like this video or learned something new, please make sure to hit that like button down below and also the subscribe button. It does actually help the channel and lets me know that the information that I'm providing is actually useful. If you have any questions about military life generally, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll answer whatever question that I can. I post new videos every week, so hopefully I will see you same time, same place next week. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you.